also wanted on while we're still talking about marine resources recently a vessel was stopped by the uh, Royal Bahamas Defense Force and again um, misinformation being circulated with respect uh, with respect to a vessel dominated by uh, Dominicans it is my uh, it is the report that I've received my advice that there was 13 Bahamians, two Dominicans on the vessel, and air compressors were found, no fisheries uh, products. I'm sending out both an appeal and a warning to vessels that are going out. You're going out counting. We see no reason why you should have compressors on, on, the, on the vessel, uh, particularly when you're carrying out a series of certified divers. And my advice would be, since I have no authority to direct law enforcement in that regard, is to let the courts sort out what the motivation was. Uh, we, we have to take a, a, a really a hard line in protecting our resources, and we are asking persons to be responsible. Um, not all of our challenges are, are foreign origin. Some of it is us making wrong, cho uh, wrong choices. And, and we intend to protect the, uh, this industry for, for future uh, generations. If you are aware of any policy maker, past or present, who during the time uh, they were sitting in the chair as a gatekeeper, made investments in the industry and sought to have advantage as a result of, of, of where they sat, we would appreciate the information. Uh, this would assist us in laying down the law as we have done uh, in this sector already, whether it's with respect to processing houses or persons on the water. And it would also lay to rest, to some extent, the loose talk that some persons have where they accuse entire category of, of persons. Um, and so we would appreciate any information that you are able to provide.